All right, IED. Uh, I was going through the Project Lead the Way notes, and we were going through the maximum and minimum material condition, and uh, it was just kind of bland whenever you looked at it. So we're going to do a little bit of hands-on with the uh, maximum material condition and the minimum material condition. So uh, the way that we use maximum and minimum material condition depends on uh, what type of material or what features that we're actually looking at. So if we've got our tolerance block that we have uh, for class, if you look at different material blocks, because I mean, the this is just one block by itself. So what we're looking for is the maximum material condition is the case when you have the most material on the actual object itself. So what we're looking for is if you were to have another block or another block or another block, there's tons of these tolerance blocks that got made. But we know for a fact that all of these blocks are not equal to each other. So one of these is the biggest one, and one of these is the smallest one. So the one with the most mass, the maximum material condition, if we're looking at the holes inside, that's going to be the cases with the smallest hole, because there's more mass around this side, and if a hole has uh, less mass, that means that there's, I'm sorry, if the, if the hole is very small, that means that there's going to be a lot of mass around it. So the maximum material condition for internal features is going to be the smallest hole. Uh, on the other side, if you have like a pin, uh, you know, the maximum material condition is actually going to be the dimensions of the external features. So the length of the diameter uh, or the length of the uh, actual dowel rod itself, these are going to be the maximum material conditions for this one. Okay, and you know, this is just for one pin, but in real life, there are tons of little dowel rod pins, and you've got to find out, you know, one of these is going to be the biggest pin, and one of these has got to be the smallest pin. So there's got to be a maximum and a min minimum material condition. So I went ahead and I measured a couple of these holes, like for the top up here. I went ahead and took the caliper and I used the backside to make some hole measurements. It wasn't like, uh, you know, they're really small holes, but I think it managed to go okay. And what we came up with was that we have a couple of different variations up at the top. The holes are, uh, you know, 175 thou, 180 thou, 185 thou. So there is some variation that occurs inside these holes up at the top. So what we want to do is we want to talk about the, the maximum material condition of these holes is going to be the smallest hole. So whenever I look at this, the maximum material condition of the holes that I actually measured out is going to be the smallest hole right here. So whenever I look at the 0.175, that 0.175 or 175 thou for my hole, this is going to be the maximum material condition. Okay. Now on the other side, if we're talking about the least or the minimum material condition, okay, the minimum material condition, uh, that's going to be the case with the least material. And if you have the least material, that's going to be the largest hole. Okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, maximum and minimum material condition, both are abbreviated MMC. So for minimum material condition, we'll go ahead and call it uh, LMC for least material convention uh, condition. So that's going to be the largest hole that we have. I'm looking here and I see that our largest hole that we had measured was 185 thou. So 0.185, this is going to be our least material condition for the series of holes that I measured. Okay, now if we go to the pins, that's gonna be a different story. Uh, whenever I measured the pins, the tolerances on the pins were actually pretty tight. So I had a whole lot of measurements that didn't necessarily uh, vary too terribly much, but at least I got some variation. So this is gonna work backwards because the maximum material condition is the largest length of the external features, and there's only external features on a pin. So this 0.158, any of these measurements, this is gonna be the maximum material condition. And the 0.157, the smallest one that I actually measured, that's gonna be the least material condition. So I'll call that the LMC or the minimum material condition, okay? Now, we wanna talk a little bit about uh, if you've got, you know, we've got these maximum materials and we've got these least materials, why are these important? Well, it's because we can actually use a 
the maximum material conditions of the holes and the pins to calculate something called the allowance. And the allowance is basically going to be how much this tolerance can vary before you can actually get this thing to, to stop doing what you want it to do. So if you want this thing to actually clear through and have a tolerance that goes through, you're going to have an allowance and that allowance is going to be based on the maximum material condition of this, the largest pin, and the smallest hole. So the maximum material condition of the pin and the maximum material condition of the hole. And then that will allow you to actually make it move through. That's going to be your allowance. Okay, so how we actually calculate this is it's going to be the difference between the smallest hole and the largest pin. So if I wanted to calculate the allowance for these pins and holes right here, there is a little bit of a variation in difference. So the hole is going to be the internal feature. So the maximum material condition is going to be 0.175. The pin maximum material condition is going to be 0.158. So if you want to find the allowance between these two, you would just have to calculate 0.175 minus 0.158 and these two numbers subtracted would give you the allowance of this interface that we're trying to get between the two objects. I hope this was actually helpful to you guys um, and I'll talk at you guys later. Have a great day.